Decentralized hidden committees are a key component of the bull network. In fact, they are what provides decentralized cryptographic security. Hi, my name is Raul Harad and I'm the CEO of Bull Network. In this video, we'll explore more about DHCs, how they work, and how they are part of the Bull Network. In Bull Network, the Dynamic Hidden Committee plays a pivotal role. Initially proposed by Bull's cryptography team in 2021, this concept integrates ring verifiable random function, zero knowledge proof, multi party computation, and trusted execution environment technologies. It aims to deliver a more efficient signature verification scheme while maintaining decentralized security. This innovative technology's academic paper was published in IEEE Transaction and Information Forensics and Security later in 2022. In this video, we will provide a concise overview of its functional implementation in cryptographic theory, ensuring accessibility without requiring specialized knowledge. Interested parties can refer to our technical documentation for further details. Before diving into DHCs, Let's first explore the node structure of the Bull Network to provide context for what follows. Bull Network operates with two distinct types of nodes. Validator nodes are responsible for receiving and packaging data onto the blockchain. DHC nodes are tasked with signing for on-chain security operations. Throughout this video, all nodes referred to are DHC nodes. DHC nodes are openly recruited allowing any user to apply by staking a specified amount of tokens and meeting hardware requirements. The Bull Network team emphasizing that establishing a public and permissionless node environment is crucial for fostering a decentralized foundation. Upon successful application, DHC nodes are issued a long-term public and private key pair, LSK, long-term secret key, LPK, long-term public key, which will be used for future identity-proof submissions to the main network. A DHC itself functions as a committee comprising a specific number of DHC nodes capable of performing verification and signature tasks as needed by users in aspects including cross-chain asset transfers, the invocation of custodied assets, and Oracle data uploads. Let's explore how the DHC achieves dynamism and confidentiality by understanding its operational mechanics. We categorize DHC's functions into five key components. One, application submission. For the start, users initiate an on-chain request within the Bull Network to establish a dynamic hidden committee based on specific requirements. Through the user interface, they configure parameters such as access targets and the total number of members greater to or equal to 3 for the committee. The system then automatically computes a threshold based on the proportion greater than or equal to two-thirds of the total member. For instance, if users specify three members, the threshold is calculated as two. If they specify seven members, the threshold becomes five. To illustrate, consider an example of four out of six members to explain the subsequent process. Two, initial formation hidden. DHC nodes monitor on-chain messages in real time on the bull network. Upon detecting a DHC setup request, each node submits a zero-knowledge proof containing its own long-term secret key, LSK, a temporary public key, TPK, generated using its LSK, and a set of all nodes' long-term public keys, LPKs. This approach ensures confidentiality, enabling nodes to verify identities without disclosing them. When parsing the proof, the Bull Network utilizes the embedded ring VRF algorithm within the zero-knowledge proof to randomly select six nodes to constitute the committee. The full randomness of member selection makes the DHC a representative sample of the entire node group, fully inheriting the decentralized advantages. After the election, the DHC member nodes communicate using multi-party computation, MPC. During this collaborative process, the Bull Network generates a collective account address and a corresponding public-private key pair for the committee. Each member computes its respective virtual key, and the valid private key shards are hidden within the virtual keys. For clarity, consider this simplified example. If the Bull Network 
select members A, B, and C. It initially creates an account address and a corresponding full private key, for example, 12345678 for the committee. Using MPC, A, B, and C jointly compute their respective virtual keys through MPC as 123ABCDEF GHJ 456KOP and XYZNOM 789. The bull network will extract the valid parts from each virtual key to reconstruct the full private key for signing tasks. Thus, the initial formation of a DHC is complete. 3. Task Execution Do you remember the previously mentioned member count and thresholds? When a designated Dynamic Hidden Committee DHC, is required to execute a signing task for a transaction on the bull network, each DHC member independently verifies the transaction's validity and signs using their virtual keys. Upon receipt of signatures from four out of the six DHC members endorsing a consistent message, the transaction is validated and proceeds accordingly. This threshold signature mechanism ensures fault tolerance within the DHC nodes, ensuring successful task execution as long as at least four out of the six nodes are operational. Additionally, the bull network creates two spare replicas for each committee. If more than two nodes in the committee break down, the following replica committee will automatically take over the verification tasks from the primary one. 4. Trusted Execution Environment To prevent the DHC members from colluding with others to maliciously seize the control by disclosing their membership in the community, Bull Network mandates that all DHC nodes utilize Intel's SGX2 chips to operate within a trusted execution environment. Furthermore, DHC nodes are restricted to running only those programs that have been authorized remotely by Bull Network within the TEE. The TEE also assigns identifiers to the nodes to verify compliance with operational regulation. The authorization and verification of identifiers are executed in a decentralized manner by smart contracts on the bull network. The environment isolates the nodes running programs from external interference, prohibiting external programs or manual operations from access. Therefore, operators are unable to tamper with information or sign illegal information, and their sole permissible action is to shut down the machine, which does not yield any benefit for them. Instead, violating operators face penalties of having their staked assets burned. 5. Term Transitions – Dynamic In Part 2, we discussed the hidden aspect of DHC. Now, let's explore its dynamism. While DHC member selection is random, maintaining a long-term static management approach could potentially allow nodes sufficient time to collude. In response, Bull Network's team devised a dynamic rotation system. Each round of DHC membership operates within an epoch set to 10 minutes. This means that every 10 minutes, Bull Network prompts all DHC nodes to submit new proofs, randomly selects six new members, and implements the handover protocol where new members assume their roles and regenerate virtual keys. The new DHC members will get different virtual keys, such as ASE 1234QW, XN56, DOEA and RTEQ 789PK, which effectively increases the difficulty for members attempting to reconstruct the valid private key. This approach necessitates malicious actors to collude with two thirds of all nodes, breaching their TEEs, and execute a series of operations within the allotted time frame. Otherwise, the progress before the transition will be invalidated which is currently impossible to achieve with existing technical means. In summary, Bull Network's decentralization is rooted in the openness and permissionless nature of its nodes. Technically, DHC achieves the selection of representative for signature verification from a broad spectrum of nodes, thereby upholding decentralization. This approach significantly enhances security compared to centralized management solutions all while maintaining efficiency and avoiding excessive resource consumption. In this episode, we have explored the operational principles and mechanism of Bull Network's core component, DHC, through animated demonstrations. 
if you believe that Bull Network and its teams are creating a remarkable future for blockchain, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and follow our channel. Feel free to leave your questions in the comment sections and we will address them gradually. Thank you for watching and goodbye.